Carl Bernstein is an American investigative journalist and author. Along with Bob Woodward at the Washington Post, he did the majority of the most important news reporting on the Watergate scandal. These scandals led to numerous government investigations and the eventual resignation of President Richard Nixon. For his role in breaking the scandal, Bernstein received many awards, and his work helped earn the post a Pulitzer Prize for public service in 1973. Bernstein's career since Watergate has continued to focus on the theme of the use and abuse of power through books, magazine articles, television reporting and commentary. He is the author or co-author of six books, All the President's Men, Final Days, and The Secret Man, with Bob Woodward. His Holiness, John Paul II and The History of Our Time, with Marco Polity. Loyalties. And A Woman in Charge. The Life of Hillary Rodham Clinton. Additionally, he is currently a visiting presidential professor at Stony Brook University. Early life and career Bernstein was born in Washington, D.C., the son of Sylvia and Alfred Bernstein. He attended Montgomery Blair High School in Silver Spring, Maryland, where he worked as circulation and exchange manager for the school's newspaper Silver Chips. He began his journalism career at the age of 16 when he became a coffee boy for the Washington Star and moved quickly through the ranks. The Star, however, unofficially required a college degree to write for the paper. Because he had dropped out from the University of Maryland and did not intend to finish, Bernstein left in 1965 to become a full-time reporter for the Elizabeth Daily Journal in New Jersey. While there, he won first prize in New Jersey's Press Association for investigative reporting, feature writing, and news on a deadline. In 1966, Bernstein left New Jersey and began reporting for the Washington Post, where he covered every aspect of local news and became known as one of the paper's best writing stylists. Watergate On a Saturday in June 1972, Bernstein was assigned, along with Bob Woodward to cover a break-in at the Watergate office complex that had occurred earlier the same morning. Five burglars had been caught red-handed in the complex, where the Democratic National Committee had its headquarters. One of them turned out to be an ex-CIA agent who did security work for the Republicans. In the series of stories that followed, Bernstein and Woodward eventually connected the burglars to a massive slush fund and a crooked attorney general. Bernstein was the first to suspect that President Nixon was involved, and he found a launder check that linked Nixon to the burglary. Bernstein and Woodward's discoveries led to further investigations of Nixon, and on August 9, 1974, amid hearings by the House Judiciary Committee, Nixon resigned in order to avoid facing impeachment. In 1974, two years after the Watergate burglary and two months before Nixon resigned, Bernstein and Woodward released the book All the President's Men. The book drew upon the notes and research accumulated while writing articles about the scandal for the Post and remained on bestseller lists for six months. In 1975 it was turned into a movie starring Dustin Hoffman as Bernstein and Robert Redford as Woodward. A second book, The Final Days, was published by Bernstein and Woodward in 1976 as a follow-up chronicling Nixon's last days in office. After Watergate, Bernstein left the Washington Post in 1977 and began investigating a secret relationship between the CIA and American media during the Cold War. He spent a year researching the article, which was published as a 25,000-word piece in Rolling Stone magazine. He then began working for ABC News. Between 1980 and 1984, Bernstein was the network's Washington bureau chief and then a senior correspondent. In 1982, for ABC's Nightline, Bernstein was the first to report during the Israeli invasion of Lebanon that Ariel Sharon had deceived the cabinet about the real intention of the Operation Euro to drive the Palestinians out of Lebanon, not to merely establish a 25-kilometer security zone north from the border. Two years after leaving ABC News, Bernstein released the book Loyalties, a son's memoir, in which he revealed that his parents had been members of the Communist Party. The assertion shocked some because even J. Edgar Hoover had tried and been unable to prove that Bernstein's parents had been party members. According to the memoir, which was highly acclaimed, 
the FBI conducted surveillance on his family over a 30-year period and produced over 2,500 pages of documents, including notes taken by agents staking out Bernstein's bar mitzvah. Following Iraq's invasion of Kuwait in 1990, Bernstein went to Iraq to cover the events for Time magazine. In a special report several weeks before the Gulf War began, Bernstein revealed the discontent and hatred felt against Saddam Hussein by many in Iraq. He was subsequently expelled from the country and flown out to Egypt. In 1992, also for time, Bernstein wrote a cover story publicizing the alliance between Pope John Paul II and President Ronald Reagan. Later, along with Vatican expert Marco Politi, he published a papal biography entitled His Holiness. Bernstein wrote in the 1996 book that the Pope here Euro unregistered trademark s role in supporting solidarity in his native Poland, and his geopolitical dexterity combined with enormous spiritual influence, was a principal factor in the downfall of communism in Europe. In 1992, Bernstein wrote a cover story for the New Republic magazine indicting modern journalism for its sensationalism and celebration of gossip over real news. The article was entitled The Idiot Culture. Bernstein's most recent book is a biography of Hillary Rodham Clinton. A Woman in Charge, The Life of Hillary Rodham Clinton was published by Alfred A. Knopf on June 5, 2007, and became both a New York Times and national bestseller. Bernstein is a frequent guest and analyst on television news programs, and most recently wrote articles for Newsweek The Daily Beast, comparing Rupert Murdoch's news of the world phone hacking scandal to Watergate. Personal life, Bernstein graduated from Montgomery Blair High School in Silver Spring, Maryland. He subsequently attended the University of Maryland, College Park, but did not graduate. Bernstein who considers himself a secular Jew, is an honorary lifetime member of Nybrith and as a teenager served as president of Nybrith Youth, BBYO, in Washington and the Mid-Atlantic States. He has been married three times, first to a fellow reporter at the Washington Post, Carol Honzer, then to writer and director Nora Lefron from 1976 to 1980, and since 2003 to the former model Christine Kiebeck. During his marriage to Efron, Bernstein met Margaret Jay, daughter of British Prime Minister James Callaghan and wife of Peter Jay, then UK ambassador to the United States. They had a much publicized extramarital relationship in 1979. Margaret later became a government minister in her own right. Bernstein and his second wife, Nora Efron, already had an infant son, Jacob, and she was pregnant with their second son, Max in 1979 when she learned of her husband's affair with Jay. Efron delivered Max prematurely after finding out. Efron was inspired by the events to write the 1983 novel Heartburn, which was made into a 1986 film starring Jack Nicholson and Meryl Streep. While single, in the 1980s, Bernstein became known for dating Bianca Jagger, Martha Stewart and Elizabeth Taylor, among others. He is the father of Max and Jacob Bernstein, his two children with Efron. After Bernstein and Efron a Euro unregistered trademark s divorce, they shared joint custody of their sons. The elder, Jacob, is a journalist who writes for the New York Times and the Daily Beast. Max, a successful rock musician who has had his own bands and commercially released albums, is now the guitar player for pop star Kesha. Bernstein currently resides in New York with his wife Christine. Portrayals Bernstein was portrayed by Dustin Hoffman in the film version of All the President's Men, and by Bruce McCulloch in the 1999 comedy film Dick. In the film Heartburn, Jack Nicholson's role was a thinly veiled portrayal of him. Books authored, All the President's Men a Euro with Bob Woodward ISBN 0-671-21781-X the Final Days A Euro with Bob Woodward ISBN 0-671-22298-8, Loyalties, A Son's Memoir, His Holiness, John Paul II and the History of Artemy A Euro with Marco Politi A Woman in Charge, The Life of Hillary Rodham Clinton ISBN 0-375-40766-9. See also, Biography Portal. References.
external links, Carl Bernstein official site, appearances on C-SPAN, Carl Bernstein at the Internet Movie Database, works by or about Carl Bernstein in libraries, profile at the Washington Post, Watergate Papers web exhibition at the Harry Ransom Center at the University of Texas at Austin, with inventory.